Hey everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. Come along with us as we try to do the 10 must do things here in St. Thomas. All in about six hours time. Let's go. Here we go. All right, good morning. We are here in St. Thomas. St. Thomas. We are at Crown Bay because it's one of the bigger ships. Uh, yes. From what I've read, most of it, anything like Oasis class and bigger come to Crown Bay. The other ones go to Haven site. All right. So we are just waiting for the all clear so that we can get off the ship and get this adventure started. When we initially made this plan, we thought that we were in port at 7 a.m. and out at 3 p.m. We are now out at 1.30. Yeah. So and, it's a fast day. Yeah. So this is going to be... About six hours, depending on how quickly they get us off. Right now it's just seven o'clock. Yep. Yeah, let's see how many of these places we can do. If we don't make it, we'll still give you the list. That's right. <laughs> All right, well, good news. We're already, we're number five and six off the ship. That's right. We are on schedule. So we came out followed the water you can actually see these are the taxis they're trucks with bench seats um, we are not taking a taxi though you could definitely save some money that way but we had yeah we had a really tight time schedule so we're hoping that our other plan is gonna pay off all right we are here today with Sunfari Virgin Islands and check out this rig right in style All right, so our first stop today here is at Drake's Seat. It's a lookout that includes a panoramic view of the Virgin Islands where the Atlantic Ocean meets the Caribbean Sea. And the big key for this is we are looking right down on Megan's Bay, which is where we're going for snorkeling next. All right, so it is 8.08 .08 and we are already at Megan's Bay. Luckily, we are beating the crowds we are beating the crowds, but uh, you still can't beat these views. Right. So $7 entry for adults, widely considered to be the most beautiful beach in St. Thomas and actually the world, I believe. Yes, you'll find Megan's Bay Beach on list for top beaches in the Caribbean. It's signature horseshoe shape and white sand flanked by mountains on either side. Give it an iconic tropical beach look. I can't wait, let's go. I can definitely see why this is one of the prettiest beaches. Agreed. Um, it it's is gorgeous. And it's super protected. So the, um, our guide was actually saying that the water, if it's rough here, it's rough everywhere. Yep. This is basically the best the water is going to be anywhere on the island. Yeah. It's pristine. The sand is so soft. The water's clear. It's beautiful. Now we came here first pretty much yep. because we expect this to get very crowded as the day goes on so we didn't want to have to fight the crowds and we aren't yeah we aren't fighting them <laughs> yeah look behind us there's there's like nobody here yet so if you can get here in the morning i would say do that agreed
So there's another reason why we came to Megan's Bay, and that is to snorkel with turtles. U.S. Virgin Islands is home to three of the seven species of sea turtles, and here you are most likely to snorkel with green sea turtles and hawksbill sea turtles. We saw green sea turtles today. Yep. Leatherback sea turtles also inhabit the waters in the Virgin Islands, though they are more rare to see. And then, next up, we're headed up top. All right, for numbers four and five, we are combining them. That's right. We are up here at Mountaintop, which is the highest point on the island. This cafeteria and bar claims not only spectacular views from its 1,500 feet perch on the summit of St. Peter Mountain, but it's the inventor, or so its claims, to the famous banana daiquiri. All right, so we're gonna have a banana daiquiri. This amazing Caribbean concoction was invented by the British captain at Mountaintop in St. Thomas during the 1950s. And the very same place is still famous to enjoy this authentic island beverage. Made with cruisin' rum, sugarcane extract, ripe bananas, lime juice, and homemade secret banana liqueur. Let's go have one. It's right. also gotta be one of the biggest souvenir shops ever. Yeah, check out this. If you want souvenirs, you are in the right spot. <laughs> if you're not a banana daiquiri person, they do have plenty of other options if you want to have a drink with your view. Oh my god, check out this view. There's Megan's Bay. Now you can really see it, yeah. Alright, so, I gotta say, how, how's the banana daiquiri? Um, <laughs> For one, our tour guy, Justin, he taught us to sip the rum off the top and then take the drink from the straw. Don't do that. Head rush. I mean, oh, you should do that. I disagree. I loved it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you, I guess you should do it that way, but man, head rush. I don't even like banana all that much, and that banana daiquiri, I want another one, but I know we have some other stops yeah. along the way. We, we have more drinks brewery. along the way. Yeah, and we want to do a uh, bushwhacker for sure. But it's, I, Josh. Check this view like, out. This is amazing. It, it truly just is bringing tears to my eyes. I can't believe how beautiful it is. This is awesome. It's, it is it is a place I could consider living. It's it worth getting is. here. Yeah, it's worth getting here. Take the trip, take the taxi, hire a driver, do something. Whatever you gotta do. Whatever you gotta do. I mean, if you, if you wanna hike it, that sounds awful. But I bet And be careful some people because the roads it. are crazy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but this is. Great. This is absolutely amazing. All right, we just finished up, and um, the yeah. banana daiquiri is strong. I'm, I'm just, just thinking that, that right now too. <laughs> I should just. We might need to find something. Put those to back on. <laughs> hide our eyes. Yeah. I was thinking about getting a second one, but I don't think I, I should. You can, but I don't need one. Maybe I should have ate a banana instead. <laughs> yeah. Well, not yeah. instead, as well. Yeah. All right, next. All right, for our next item, we are actually gonna show it to you but not do it ourselves because we paid for a car, whereas you could pay $25 per person to do the Sky Ride to Paradise Point. The Thomas Sky Ride to Paradise Point takes you 700 feet above sea level to the most spectacular views on the island. Come at your leisure anytime during the day. On this excursion, you will ride the view on a state-of-the-art aerial tramway, about 15 minutes round trip. But we're still gonna be able to get the view and we're gonna try a drink too.
And so one of the other reasons you want to make it up here to Paradise Point is to try a bushwhacker. Got it right here, whipped cream on top. Josh can have that. <laughs> uh, anyhow, roots can be traced back to St. Thomas in the mid 1970s. The drink is often described as a milkshake with alcohol or a chocolate version of a pina colada. Whatever you want to call it, sipping on this cocktail is a nod to the history of St. Thomas cuisine. Best place to try it is right here at Paradise Point. Combine outstanding views with a classic drink and you've got the recipe for a perfect vacation. With over 1 million bushwhackers served at Paradise Point, it's safe to say you're in good hands. And the other drink that is drank most here is a painkiller. Drink that is drank. <laughs> drink that is it. drank, yeah. Um, yeah. So I went with that, it's very pineapple forward, it's got some nutmeg on it, it's really good. All right, it's snack time. So we decided to grab some, it's Caribbean lobster fritters, mm. and then some sweet fried plantains. All right, our number eight thing is make sure to visit a local brewery. You know us, we like craft beer, so let's go check out Leatherback Brewing Company. Three local breweries, but we're gonna try out here at Leatherback. Yes, let's go. All right, Rachel's got the Poison Beard's Castle, which is a fruited sour. And I went with the Island Life, uh, which is a Hell's Lager. And Rachel's getting a cup. Don't forget your hat, too. I already paid for it. Oh, yeah. I'll get a hat. <laughs> That's tasty. It's fruity. Here's this very light lager. Yep. Or light Pilsner, even. Whichever you want it. Yeah. Whichever one you're looking for. You got it. It's a light beer. Good beer, and it's close to the Haven site port. So if you're ported in this area, this would be easy walking distance. Yeah. Not from our port. Not from our port, but Haven site, yes. Our number nine thing you gotta do, eat some local food. Eat some local food. So we found Petite Pump Room here in the harbor In area? the French town area. Yeah. And so we're gonna try some local eats and tell you about them. Oh, check out this. Going out on the water. This is a heck of a view. for the mahi sandwich and some fungi. I want Josh to try it. He's not gonna like it. I it can already like guarantee you. <laughs> no, but you're not gonna like it. And then the conch fritters, but I can promise you he's not gonna like this. You are correct. <laughs> I knew I was. But yeah. the best part is, is this is a nice lunch with a view. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a lot like um, a polenta mashed as a mashed potato. <laughs> um, which I don't really understand. But you had talked about it being like similar to grits. Yeah. But I think the grilled fish is looking good and the conch fritters are gonna be awesome. Good. 
I know. Josh doesn't like the fungi, 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 whatever. I really like it. Well, I mean, I do not like grits, so it's complete opposite for me on that. On for it grits. is smoother than grits. I think it's much smoother than that. grits. I feel like I'm getting my vegetables, which is probably not even vegetables. But I, don't I don't know, know. if it is or not. We gotta look at it. We'll but put down below I like if it. it. Is. <laughs> I don't mind it. I, I like the sandwich actually. Yeah, the sandwich is great. The fish is good. The conch fritters are good. Yeah, we just saw a plane take off. So what's not to like? This view is amazing, by the way. All right, believe it or not, we are ahead of schedule, so we're making a second stop at Frenchtown Brewing for one more beer before we head back on the ship. You can do it. Four beers on tap. We picked the Whirly Girl right? Lager. Okay. All right. It's very smooth. Yes. It is just very good. Like? Yeah, it's really good. And here's the view right outside. All right, number Mini? 10 thing to do, book with Sunfari Virgin Islands. Oh. Ultimate <laughs> off-road. This was $350. He took us everywhere Small on the Disney island that we asked. Gotcha, gotcha. This was set forth by us. And Justin, he's the man. Check these guys out. Go ahead and book with them. They will take care of all your needs. And it's badass. It's badass. I just told our friends that are coming here in next March, you're going to have to do this. Yes. You're going to have to come do and this. And we're actually coming in November. Who knows? Maybe we'll be here again. Yeah. Oh, and she's an Irma Maria survivor. There we go. Oh, so. This is one of the local. oldest ones. Mm -hmm. This is the original, original Jeep of Sunfire. Original Jeep, so there's more to come. I don't think we'd ever get the water to that level, though. <laughs> <laughs> Not, we're too chicken. Right. All right, we're going back to our second home, Icon of the Seas. If you haven't already seen, we are on day number five. I think today so is day got five. At least four other videos about this. If you want to come along and see what we've done on this ship, look at this freaking thing. All I can say, too, is you know it's a good ship when you don't know what day it is. That's true. That's the best part. Just in time. Five minutes to spare. Going through security. All right, so there's a couple things that we do like to uh, collect. One of them is Starbucks mugs, the Ben There ones, but uh, they don't have one in here. So we ended up getting a few different things. At the Leatherback Brewing Company, we did get a pint glass. We thought it was very cool, as well as a hat. I need a very Caribbean hat. That seems cool, right? And then at Frenchtown Brewing, we grabbed a glass, and the lady was so happy that she gave us an extra thing. So, there you go. Awesome. Some souvenirs to go along with our awesome day. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see our full experience on Icon of the Seas. We will have daily vlogs showing over 20 different food venues, 30 bars, the world-class entertainment, and an insane pool deck. We also make stops in St. Kitts, St. Thomas, and even check out the brand new Hideaway Beach Club on Royal Caribbean's private island, Perfect Day at Coco Cay. Believe it or not, this is our first time getting an ice cream cone. Okay. We are back in our room, we are freshened up, we are ready to go out for the night. Real quick though, Sunfari. We found them because this one decided we wanted to do everything in St. <laughs> Thomas. And but, we were like, we are never gonna be able to do that if we're doing the bus system. I was searching for something to do in St. Thomas and there's so much to do. I was like, how do we do it in one day? Yeah. And so we 
hired Sunfari. <laughs> yes, we like to travel as if we're never gonna return to a place. Who knows? We may never be back. This was our 10th cruise together where we haven't been there. Yeah. Um, but big shout out to them. So we sent them an itinerary. They said, yep, we can do it. And they said it was $350 for the full day. Now that was even when we thought we'd be out until 3.30. Yeah, it was amazing. And I mean, they had the list up. Justin was our driver today and he had the list up that I had sent them. We had our own list and he said, anything else? I mean, and he added one, he added the um, last brewery. He's like, I think we can hit this. I mean, we had it on our list, but we were yeah. like, I don't know that this is ever gonna happen. Yeah. But he's like, we could do this. Yeah, we can get this done. <laughs> so he was actually really helpful to, to help get us that way. So big shout out to Justin. Uh, we might actually be checking in with him later this year. We'll see. Yeah, that would be really He's funny. a ship captain on the side. <laughs> All right, but we're going to do a whole bunch of stuff here on Icosies, and we're headed back to Giovanni's tonight for some Italian, some Italian fancy food. dinner. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Let's eat. We are back in the room. Pretty easy, relaxing night tonight. We did a show. We were busy. Oh, Giovanni's. Giovanni was was really good. <laughs> yeah. Um, we have enjoyed it. We're gonna probably go back there again later this week. The lasagna wasn't as good tonight as it was night one. It was still really but good. But the pizza was freaking great. Yeah, and we did burrata as the appetizer. It was good too. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then we mm. went to a game show. We watched a parade. We ch watched a juggling commodore. Commodore? Comedian? Juggler. <laughs> And we did some karaoke. We no no no. Yeah, we did a whole we, bunch of it. You just didn't capture it because we were up there singing and dancing. You know, it's how we do. Mm -mm. All right. What was your favorite bite of the day? Uh, mine's actually a drink. It's the sour beer from the brewery today. It was it just Jeez. hit the spot. It's her. <laughs> Such a good beer though. That one was really good. If you can make it to Leatherback, get the sour beer. If you like sour beers. Yeah, it was really good. Um, if you don't like sour beers, why not? Uh, I'm gonna Your say my favorite bite. bite was the Giovanni's pizza. Yeah. It has like a hot honey, some pepperoni, some cheese. It's, it's good. good. Yeah. Best moment of today. Seeing the sea turtles. I gotta go with it too. Damn it. It was Ooh. so fun. Okay, I can't say the same thing. But yeah, the sea turtles was awesome. Yeah. It was our first time for both of us. Yeah, it was really cool. And within like honestly three before, minutes. Yeah, before we even got in the water, mm -hmm. um, Justin who was with us, he's like. There they are. I can see their head. Yeah, went out there. Before we even left the beach. Yeah. So we just rolled straight out there. And he's like, there's two of them. <laughs> <laughs> and so and huge shout yeah. out to Justin for that. That was it. It was easy. Yeah. I would say the other was drinking that banana daiquiri at the mountaintop, looking down on Megan's Bay. It was very pretty up there. It was yeah. one of those moments where you're like, damn, this life is good. It is good. Yes. So what's next tomorrow? 
Tomorrow is sea day, and we're going to do the water park. We're going to do throw water park here on uh, the ship. Yeah. I think that's about the biggest plans we have, We are going to try the new brunch place, hopefully. Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, we tried to make a reservation. It's not showing up on our app, so we'll see if we get it. Uh, we also get to go to Chops again. We've got a show. We've got to work out tomorrow. That's going to be exciting. Yeah. yeah. So those are the big things. But You'll really be seeing highlights are... over what we're talking about right now. So it, you'll probably know if it looks good or not. Yeah. But big thing tomorrow is throw a water park. We're going to hit the water park here yes. on the ship. Yeah. All right. If you're enjoying our videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and X. All of our links are down below. All right. Peace out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>